I am here to get cranial sacral work done. And to be honest, I have no idea what I'm in for. Uh, a friend of mine introduced me to the therapist, I guess you could call him, named Rob. My first impressions are Rob has great energy. He's very mellow. I trust him immediately. Um, this is a beautiful room. He's actually renting it out. He splits his time between Canada and Los Angeles. So he comes here. This isn't actually his room, but I love the energy of this room. Um, from what I understand, cranial sacral is somewhat like a massage meets acupuncture or energy work, more to say. So um, I'm about to interview him and find learn more about it and then I'm actually going to get some work done to experience it and I will let you know how that goes. My name is Robert Morris. And the name of your company? Do you... It is Robert Morris Proactive Health. I just started the summer working down here in Hollywood and Westwood. I've been doing this type of work for close to 30 years. Craniosacral therapy is a very gentle hands-on modality that deals with how the connective tissue in the body integrates with the central nervous system through the spinal cord and the membrane around it, which is called the dura mater, which also surrounds your brain. Everything in your body, veins, bones, muscles, tendons, organs, are, are surrounded by a layer of connective tissue. The outside of your bone is called periosteum. It is connective tissue. It integrates into the ligaments and tendons. Craniosacral therapy is one of the largest alternative uh, practice alternatively practiced modalities in the world. I think there are probably over 100,000 uh, craniosacral therapists. In Western medicine, they don't really acknowledge the fascial connective tissue as anything. In Chinese medicine, which is where my background comes from in terms of Chinese internal arts, they look at it as the conductor of all non-neural energy or qi. And if you practice yoga, you've heard the term pranic energy. Mm -hmm. Same idea. It's our basic bioelectric energy, but trees have it and plants. And that's not neurological. Trees don't particularly have brains, right? We look at resistance, restriction, and adhesion in this membrane, all right? And we can work from any part of the body. The majority of it is done from the head, neck, shoulders, and sacrum, but we work all over the body. And the postural alignment work I do is about getting the body back into design function, right? A lot of chronic pain in people is caused by misalignment of their, of their body, right? So could you relate it to like chiropractic? No. no. And the reason for that is because bones in the body do what muscles tell them to do. Mm. It's not the other way around. If you move a bone and the muscles are restricted or contracted, they're going to pull the bone back out. And that's not to say that chiropractic is not very useful in certain circumstances. But what we're dealing with here is actually not even just the muscle and the tendon, but the outlying layer around that, which is called fossil tissue. Mm -hmm. And if there's a restriction in that tissue, it is always going to pull back to its set patterning. What happens when I treat people is often they'll see me for say three to six months and then at six months they come in you know and like say they came in their shoulder hurt and around six months they come in and say hey my knee hurts i'm like how's your shoulder oh i forgot about that right wow. so we're very conscious of pain when it's there we're very unconscious of when it goes away right. it's gradual and very subtle work but actually people respond very quickly to it and uh in the bigger picture of things now one of the things to know about this work. The reason it's very gentle is because we're trying to get the body to release and go into what we call a still point, which is just like a very quiescent state, right? If you're pushing too hard, you're gonna cause that kind of contraction, restriction, you know, it's a negative response. Very often with like deep tissue massage and stuff, they're really digging into people, but all right, so I'm working on this muscle, but if the rest of the body is tense because it's painful, right. that's counterproductive. Right. Feels good afterwards. Yeah. One of the two reasons that chiropractic and deep tissue massage feel good is when you adjust a, a vertebra, your, body, your brain releases endorphins. Hmm. And the same thing is true of deep tissue massage. If you push really hard on something and it hurts, your body goes, oh, 
right? Yeah. So afterwards, you feel sort of, hmm, high, yeah. right? Interesting. That's a good point. You'll feel the same thing with this work, but without the sort of intrusive nature. The yeah. goal of cranial work is to, to help the body to monitor and maintain its ability to heal itself. And the, the human body has an enormous capability to heal itself. When it can't, it does something it's also very good at. It's called compensation. Mm. That's where we run into problems because, you know, say you're, you're hit in a, a car accident. Connective tissue, soft tissue has memory. It maybe doesn't have such a great sense of time. So if you're like hit in the side in a car accident, your body goes into a holding pattern based on waiting to get hit again. It doesn't matter whether it's an impact trauma or a, an emotional trauma. We hold those things in our body and we hold them for a long time. And the goal of this work is to sort of release that. Sometimes people won't realize how much progress they're making because they still feel pain. We tend to define things as I'm in pain or I'm not. Mm. But if someone comes in and says, I take 1600 uh, milligrams of ibuprofen a day, and then after a couple of weeks, they're down to 400, that's a huge difference. We live in a society where people do not really want to take responsibility for themselves. They'd rather me go, here's a pill, yep. right? And be done with it and that's all I have to do and everything's fine. And what's kind of scary about this is the mindset of the pharmaceutical industries. They're, they're using fear to sell billions of dollars of worth, uh, worth of uh, nutritional supplements. And it's based on like, well, if you take this, you might not get cancer. In the same way that people would rather take pills or vitamins, they'd also like to, in the new age community, you know, be involved in sort of esoteric, you know, energy, yeah. angel wisdom stuff. Yeah. And the point I make to people is if you're not well-founded and well-rooted in your physical body, you sort of don't have any business doing that, you know? I, I mean, that seems a little harsh, but yeah. I, I really do believe that. It's, yeah. you know, we spend most of our time right in this, yep. right? So best to take care of it. Right. The one thing that comes up a lot is raw food diets, mm -hmm. all right? So when I'm dealing with people who are, say, dealing with um, arthritis or pain in the joints, um, highest acidity levels in their body, um, that dialogue will take place. So I'm like, well, are you willing to try something like that? And, you know, most people aren't. We live in a society that's like very short attention span. I want it now. And my work tends to be a little different than that. If you're interested in very relaxing work uh, that helps release stress, yeah, this is a good thing to try. That was an incredible experience. Unlike any other sort of body work I've ever had done. And I love getting massages. I've been to a chiropractor. I do yoga and this just exceeded it all. It reminded me a little bit of yoga because it put me into a very meditative state, but probably deeper than I usually go in yoga. Um, it's very gentle, it's very subtle. D don't really feel much physically, but energetically and even emotionally, you can feel it, which is what makes it that amazing. Um, and even more amazing was when I got off the table at the end, the, we talked about the points that I've been having some problems with on my body and when I felt them again the pain was just so much less than it was when I started. I know Rob from a friend of mine so I trust him. I felt really comfortable around him and I just trust what he's doing. The way he spoke in the interview, um, the way he holds himself, his energy. Rob is definitely the type of person that I want to go back to because I trust him, because he's listening to me, because he's trying to help me. Um, so that just made this all very special and I'm looking forward to my next appointment. If you're having any sort of pain or even pain related to stress, anxiety, this is the type of thing to consider and I would highly recommend him. I just feel so wonderful right now. It's beyond words. And I usually only say that about food. So this should really mean something. <laughs>